Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am going to work on my vintage book some and um, I have a little Gail mail. But first I want to say hi and hugs to Elise, Tana, Bonnie, and Miranda. Thank you so much for watching my channel and for your nice comments. Um, let's do the Gail mail first and then I will just put it off to the side. So super fun. I got um, a package from my friend Nora. Nora and I met through our mutual friend Candy and um, Candy and her three or four girlfriends have girlfriend weekends and one time I went and we made um, journals out of junk mail and I just kind of we kind of did a crafting session and at that time Nora was still working and I think Nora has retired she's a teacher and um, so anyway she has an Etsy shop which I'm super excited about and she sent me a, a piece from her her shop so first of all I wanted to show you this she sent me this so sweet Valentine love that it's got the the real live vintage Valentine attached so how cute is that? So this will go, even though it's a Valentine, it'll go in my bunny journal, I think. And then, um, and then she sent a card. And so um, I have that for my correspondence journal. And, um, and then she sent one of her, let's see, how does she, how does she describe them? Let me, let me use the right words. Um, a snippet roll inspiration journal so you see it says it's a snippet roll you've you've seen those made by other people and by me on YouTube but you unroll it off its spool and it has a message and this one is let me see if I can hold it up a little kindness makes all the difference oh. I love it, Nora. I so love it. I was literally squealing when I opened it. It's beautiful. First of all, the snippet is beautiful. And then the, then the message is wonderful. So I'm super excited. I'm going to put it somewhere in my newly expanded craft room. I'll more on that later. Um, and oh i just love it so nora's got these in her shop and her shop is called nora's little shop and i will have that in the description box of this video i'll have a link to her shop she has lots of journals in there to take a look at and then she has these and and nora does beautiful work let me just say so um, I haven't gotten to see one of her journals. I'm just so excited that she's making journals that that just makes my heart feel good. So Nora, thank you so much. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, Nora sent me her card, but she does have her phone number on there. And so I've learned my lesson. Maybe I can just do this. Yep. I can just do this. So there it is. Nora's little shop. There's no apostrophe though. So I'll put the link in the description box and there we go. So thank you, Nora. I have my first um, new decoration for my new space. I'm so excited. Well, and then I went yesterday, I went to lunch with my friends, um, Catherine and Diane. And Catherine gave me a whole bunch of these little, what would you call them? Pamphlet type cookbooks. Look at that automatic skillet. How fun is that? But, um, so I haven't quite decided. I think I'll share some on my Etsy. Look at this one. I love this. Family favorites. And often these don't have a date, but you can tell by the, uh, by the graphics and stuff that they're probably 50, 60. Oh, copyright 1954. Yep. Yep. Jack and Mary's Jello. <laughs> Jack Benny. Oh, and Mary Livingstone. Okay. I know who Jack Benny is. Oh, too funny. 
Yeah. So anyway, I thought you might enjoy looking at these a little bit. This one, Pillsbury. And um, don't know the data. This is out of a cookbook. So Paige is out of a cookbook. These are kind of fun too. Cheese and eggs. Yeah. So anyway, whole big old, look at that one. That's got a great graphic on it, doesn't it? So I might have to do another cookbook journal. This got me going, Catherine. Oh, I love this. Look at how um, pretty the pictures are. I mean, they're just, they're so bright and happy. Yeah, that's a really fun one. Osterizer. <laughs> Copyright 1953. I did not know blenders went back that far. That's interesting. That's older than me is what that is. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, and then this one's cute. It's a children's, as you can see. But it's got some fun pages. Those would be fun in a journal. So anyway, I just had to show you that real quick because I thought that was really fun. So, um, yeah, so I don't know if I'll get some on my Etsy, how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do this. I think I have some others too that I might add to it. So there's that. Okay, guys, so I never did find the tape I was looking for for my, um, for my book because I have to, I have to repair the spine, right? But thank goodness for subbies. Great for making your spines and books. So she has this fiberglass tape. So I think I'm going to use it to put that back together. And we're just going to discover this tape together because I've never used, I, obviously I'm opening it for the first time, never used it. So we'll just see, we'll see kind of what we get here. Um, and this is, let's see, Tool Essentials brand. So no idea where it came from or anything because it was a Happy Mail, but. Okay, so I don't know. I hope that's gonna work. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna try it, we'll see. I think, so take note, Tool Essentials fiberglass tape. So it's for drywall, basically, is what it's for. I'm just gonna um, cut it and cut a length of it. It doesn't even have to be the exact length. I can cut it off. Okay. So I think what I wanna do is cut it kind of in half because it's too wide. And we're gonna see what kind of repair job we can do here. One side is a bit thicker than the other, but that's okay because I want the thick side on the part that's torn. Let's just see how we do. Let's see how we do. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> I am just going to pull this together and put this tape down. That's the objective. Hold it together. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. It's good enough for a wallet. It ought to work on a book, right? And then I think as we do the other layers of this book, it should be just fine. And of course I'll put lace or fabric or something over that, but I just needed something to kind of hold it together. And the nice thing about this, I'm going to go ahead and do this side too, just because a little extra strength never hurt, right? Okay. 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 And I am going to be able to um, what was I going to say? I'm going to be able to sew through now because I have to put something on the outside too. So 
I don't have to do the hidden spine. So I am gonna go ahead and put down this um, piece of craft text right here. And so that is going to the very edge, really. Let's get the, get the goopy off here. You guys, my craft room is a disaster because um, yesterday we moved the TV upstairs because if you've been watching my videos, I had shared that Jimmy Joe is afraid of the basement. <laughs> and since Jimmy Joe, who's our dog, for those of you who are new, <laughs> um, he, he just, he cannot settle down downstairs. He, it, it just, there's something about it he doesn't like. I don't know if it's not seeing outside or what the deal is, but he doesn't like it. So, you know, we can't really watch TV because he's, you know, agitated and not happy and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So anyway, um, I'm, I'm getting ready. I almost said I'm fixing to, I, I see how I fall into Southern so quick. Um, I'm getting ready to move things and, and expand, but we have to get the furniture out of there. We've, the TV is out, but the furniture is not. Okay. So there's that. So we're repairing the spine. That's what we're doing. So I think I might put a piece of this tape on this side as well, just to, I just don't think it'll hurt. It'll reinforce it. And then um, I'll be putting fabric and or lace and or both on it. So it'll be just fine. So a lot of different tapes you can use. What I was looking for yesterday and couldn't find was my carpet tape. Um, that works. That works well, too. So. Um, this is not wanting to stick very bad. I think I'm just gonna, keeps popping up, so I'm just gonna put some Fabri-Tac, as well as whatever's sticky. Gosh, that just doesn't want to, does it? Well, the spine is going to be <laughs> so gooped up. It ought to hold. It ought to hold. Okay, so as far as fabric in the middle, what I'm thinking of using is just, it's just like some of this which happily is wide enough. So that's a good thing. Oh my goodness, you guys, I need to take a little drink of water. I'm gonna have to drink a little water, I'm hungry. I ended up getting on the phone with my daughter and we just couldn't quit talking. And so I didn't get breakfast. And I have to kind of have to hurry up and do my video because my husband has stuff he wants me to do today. And then, and then I would really like to work more on the basement because I feel like there's some things I can move and do before the furniture's gone. I have to call. There's actually a company in my town called strong backs for you. <laughs> I love that. I think that's great. It's exactly what we need too, is 
strong backs for getting our furniture moved because our couch has two recliners in it and they're um, electric and so it is heavy as I'll get out so okay I'm gonna need like a chisel and hammer to get through this to put the signatures in I think but I don't know we're we're gonna make it work And so I'm going to have three signatures. And so I kind of want to avoid where they're going to be somewhat with the glue. Okay, well, that ought to do it, we hope. Okay. I'd have to cut that off a little bit or... I guess I don't care if it goes over the top a little bit. And I'm not worried about the splotchiness from the glue because the pages will be sewn in there. So I don't think you'll see it. So we'll see how that works. And then um, I may put lace on the side if I decide I don't. I'm not loving it like that or something. Okay. What do I want to put on this side? I wonder if I have some fabric that would go well on that side. I will look for that because I think I'm just going to go set this. I'm going to set this up by my heater so it can dry. I have to remember when I redo my craft room how handy that is to have something that reaches up to that <laughs> reaches up to that vent so that but oh my gosh I am I am excited to I'm excited to do this and um, sounds like you'd like to come along a little bit on the journey too okay so yeah, that outside, I'm not worried about putting anything over that right now because I'll have to sew in the signatures, right? But I want that to dry some. So I found these um, doilies, and I thought I'd put one of those in each signature. So let's decide where we'd like those. That might be nice right there. Or there. Ooh, I like that. Let's do that. Gorgeous doilies. Those were, these were Happy Mail too. Yeah, going to be much, there's going to be much sorting to be done. That's for sure. But it'll be fun. I want to be able to keep working though too, you know, on journals. So... <laughs> So I don't know how, it, how it's all going to happen, but I'm going to figure it out. I am. Oh, it's just so tickled to hear from Nora and to see that she's just busy making junk journals. I love it. So awesome. Okay, so we did that. I, other than getting that spine done, I had nothing planned for today. So let's think about some more... Um, ephemera maybe so what I have is have these couple of tags have this journal card those were from my B for button have the have the bookmark have this um, you know what we should do is I should get my my partially done box of stuff and see if we couldn't make a few things okay this we decided was too I think it's too wide for this book yes we did so that's out 
Let's see, don't need the tape anymore. Okay, so what do we have that might go? Okay, these were some mixed media tags that I had done. And just had done some stencil play with it. I mean, I'm feeling like, could this be a pocket? Slightly long, but I think I could cut it off. Let's, let's play with this a little bit. Oh my goodness. So these not so much, so we'll stick them over there. Let's cut that down just slightly and make it a pocket. sure what I want to do with this guy. I mean, I've, the color's nice. I think I might need to do a little collaging or something over the top of it. I don't know. I wanted to try out this stencil so I did the stencil and I just did a little bit of doodling on it was all but um okay let's just let's just play a bit if we don't like it we don't have to use it right <clears throat> but I would love to you know finish up them with some things or because that basket's getting way full again. Um, hmm. Grab out some scraps. I feel like maybe some music or something. Do I have any music here? In my tinies. I don't want green music. Oh, there's some music. Where'd you go? Oh, well, that's green music too. Oh, here's some. Here's some. to get once that's that spine is dry if it gets dry during this video it'll be kind of fun to get my signatures sewn in but of course I'm not ready for that either I don't have any of my stuff at hand <laughs> yeah, I just came running down to do a little bit of crafting and try and get a video done I'll put that on there and I'm wondering about maybe some some sort of textile something or another ooh ooh I like that right there is that the right side yep Okay, I like that kind of right there. This is called a pocket with no plan. <laughs> yeah, none at all. Um, I think I'm gonna use art glitter because I think it'll dry quicker. I had my bunko night last night. That was fun. So yesterday was a big day. I had lunch out with friends. 
I had Bunko, my friend Candy, that's friends with Nora too. She came over um, to pick me up for Bunko and she came early so she could play with Jimmy Joe and oh my gosh, he was a wild man. He was crazy. Okay, see, I'm liking this more and more. Okay, so I want something right across there. Yep, yep. I think I'll Fabri-Tac this one. Uh, yeah, so anyway, um, we left poor Mike with this out-of-control dog. <laughs> Candy has that effect on people, doesn't she, Nora? <laughs> people and animals. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was fun though. Um, Candy got to see him his very first night home from the hospital, or home from the hospital, home that, that his very first night that we got him. So, well, that's kind of a fun little. I didn't know what I was going to do, Pocket. I'll take that. And it's out of my undone things. So that's a plus too. Okay, so then I have these little things. I'm wondering that aren't finished. You know, they don't have writing paper on the back and stuff. This one would go because it's roses, right? Let's, let's do that one. Okay, I feel like we're making making progress here um i'm just i have this piece of paper just handy so i'm just going to use this one piece of paper we're just going to pop it down on here is what we're going to do and Have exciting news my friend Jen is doing not long enough um, is doing a new digital kit dreams etc so um, I think that's what's going to be my next journal probably I have I have kits that I've bought that are stacked up <laughs> I really do but at least I know what I'm going to do, you know, from time to time, right? Okay, so I'm going to have to stitch around the edge of that. That's a little... It's going to go in my little scraps basket, uh, little plain scraps going in this basket. And then this one can go in the larger pages basket or um, plastic bag, plastic bag in my basket. Okay. Did that. thinking about what would we want to put on the front of this. Um, so pretty. That's, I love that napkin. And these were just ones that I had cut up from pages and pages of napkins that I had done long ago when I was doing mixed media stuff I actually have them right here and I don't I don't think I've shown you because I think I did this on Patreon but um, yeah all these all these music sheets with napkins on them so I was having a play with those on Patreon and this was one of the 
This was one of the results. Okay, the name of the lady who designed the napkin is right there. So I really wanted to, on the book that we're doing, I really wanted to use this rose and bloom. So I'm going to put that on there. Um, I just don't know quite what else, but we'll come up with something. Okay, that can go in my plain scraps on the back of a card and this one too let's see this side kind of put it right about there that one yeah basically the scraps never end they just keep uh we just keep getting more and more of them don't we so then i'll just get that a little cut Let's put that on a line so we know it's straight. I am going to throw that little piece away. Just so you don't think I'm crazier than I am. <laughs> okay, so yay, got that. That's awesome. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a... stress around the edge and stick that there and then so see I can put that right there but then what butterfly maybe I don't know butterfly or bird probably I have a wonder about this butterfly down here. Yep. Or does that blend in too much? What do you think? Don't want it on that side. I want it on this side to balance it. Okay. Let's look at a couple others. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that other one got lost in the background um that those particular two butterflies were from tracy fox at love junk journals she has a butterfly fussy cut thing i saw that rachel at roxy creations does now too so which is great because you know i i was fussy cutting mine out of books and you know once you run out of the books then it's like okay now what so this is great because you get low you can just print off another page and there you go okay put that right there and then we're gonna put this one here okay and then I'm going to sew around it so I might as well bring over my sewing machine I think I can is that okay that's about as good as she gets from up above isn't it okay so I think I'm going to do I think I'm going to do zigzag. So let's just actually, I kind of like to start and finish at the back. So let's do that. Okay.
Okay. Another piece of ephemera done while we were waiting to dry. Yay. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Yeah, that'll be fun. That's really cute. But I do think I'm gonna put, like I do, my there's or this would be fun. I did some teeny weeny of my um, vintage receipts from my um, vintage receipts seat kit on my Etsy and I did some teeny weeny ones so let's let's put one of those in here that'd be fun just so it's got just a little decoration on this side not completely just the cream colored paper Yeah, that's fun. Okay, and done. Another piece of ephemera for this little journal. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my spine and see how we're doing. Drying wise, yeah, it's, it's feeling pretty good. Now I wonder if I have, you guys, Look at these. These are all my templates for spines. <laughs> yeah, there's a few of them. So I always kind of try and look through to see if I have one that will work. Like, so I need three. Um, oh, those are just, yeah, I need three holes. Everything looks like it's too wide. Maybe this one. Too short, too wide. But it's worth a check because often. Okay, so I need to make one. Let's see how these little pieces are so short. Where's it? Okay, okay. Well, we'll just make one. What the heck, huh? It's gotta be done. It's part of the process, so I might as well do it on camera, right? Okay, so that is, gosh, it's darn near the perfect width. It's a little, it's a little crooked, so. I think it's right here, it's just a little bit too thick. See how that does. Okay. So where's my ruler? We'll just make ourselves a little template here for holes. Um, just use a pen here, I guess. Okay, so this is by no means the end all be all way of doing this. It's just how I do it. So about four and a quarter is the middle. So that is right here. Um, and I am going to go up an inch and an inch down because I just feel like that's where I want to go and so what I do is I'll move this over for a second sit there okay so what I do is I just kind of try and get things straight and then I just go along and make a line oops helps if the pen writes Okay, and then I will go along in there to make the line and in 
there to make the line. And then this is, oh, an inch and several eighths. <laughs> um, I'm going to just eyeball the middle, I think. I'm going to say it is at right at the eighth. Okay. Close enough. And then I will put this down in the book to poke holes in the spine. Um, and then I always, I always say top because um, and then if my holes from one row to the next are a little bit off, it doesn't matter because I will have punched the pages given the position that they're in. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not very technical, but I'm not very technical. <laughs> Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I just put this in. It turns out pretty even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's too close. Six, maybe. Yep. So then that that is my template and then um, I go ahead and poke a hole in it just so that I have it for let's see um, yeah for my know if I'm gonna get these sewn in on this video but at least we'll be prepared for next time huh and you know it's not all fun and games and decorating <laughs> there is the and I just poke the holes in like this because I am going to make a pen spot on my spine and that's how I'm gonna poke the holes in the spine so I'll show you that in a second, hopefully, if we're not too late time-wise. And again, there may be easier ways to do this. This is just my way. So, um, so then I just hold it here and usually I have, yes, I have a this gel pen thing that's pretty good at make sure it's writing Oh yeah, perfect. I don't know if you can see those from far away, but see how there's just the little dots now? And so that's how I'll poke my holes into my 45. Oh, we have so much time. We got time to spare.
Okay, so now I'll just lay down my book. And poke. Yep. Great. All right. Now we are going to, yeah, we're still going to need that. Okay. Okay. So then I'm going to go, I'm going to go back to front with my signature. So I've got this signature and I think I've got everything in there that I want. I've got my little doily. Got my Edith Holden page. I just, I don't want to, I can put a bag on a page if I want to. So I'm just going to get my little handy dandy. And as I said last time I bound one, this is a kit, this is a kit that is in my favorite things. And we will use that. Okay, so... I, oh, I always have to close them down because they take less room, but then you have to open them before you do the next book. It's like, okay. All right, so now again, I like to go kitty corners. So I do this side first. This side second, you know, then this side. And I just find that it, it holds the pages together better doing it that way rather than, you know, doing one side at a time. Going back and forth, I just get a tighter hold on my pages is all. Okay, so this is the last signature. So this is going to go in these holes. So... Um, I'm going to use this and um, what I kind of like to do is on my template I'm just going to make a mark because obviously the book is bigger than the pages so I'm just going to make a mark here so that I'm sure to put it at the same level on each signature if that makes sense. And then, and then now I can um, use my line to line up where my holes are going to be. So I've got the edges right, and then I'm just going to go into my spine and put a dot where each line is. So we'll do, we'll do this one. And then, you know, obviously the other two signatures will be sewn in the same way. I'll get those done off camera and then we'll be, you know, we'll have that part done. Okay. So now I need to decide which, what, you know, I think rather than use my waxed linen, which comes in this, and I love that, I have this book binding, this book binding stuff too, that, oh, my pen's leaking, um, is, it's very thin, but it's very strong, and so I think I'm going to use that in this. The, the uh, wax linen is a bit, just a bit bulkier than this. And this stuff 
is is very good. I mean, in terms of holding, it holds just fine. So we'll just get this one sewn in. Let me make myself some room here. So we're this is the last signature. Always double check to make sure you got you've got it right side up. <laughs> oh. So I'm gonna go in from the inside through. I'm gonna hold my string. I'm gonna go from the back side into this one. Oh my gosh, go through there. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to hold the string that's left and pull through. And I'm holding it tight so that I don't split the um, string when I go back through. Right? Because if you split the string, then um, you can't pull it tight. Okay, and then I'm going to go in this top hole. Okay. Okay. And now I'm pulling to make sure it's tight. And I'm going to take my needle and I'm just going to go pull this string onto the other side. And we're going to tie it off. I just double knot it. And I think for this one, we're just going to tie a bow because I don't think I want charms. I can change my mind later if I want to. Okay, and first one is in. Now, if I wanna go back and put lace here or whatever, I can still do that, but um, I wanted to get these signatures in before I get too much decorating done, you know? And I did, I, I am leaving a good amount of room for decorating, so. So yeah, so that one's in. So let's see, we'll just clip the middle one. And then I think we might be kind of out of time. Let's just make sure that doily's positioned where we want it. Yep, oh, I love that with the dark, dark and light pink and these flowers. Yeah, that's, that was good. That was a good spot for that. So again, we're just gonna go opposite. And this doesn't have a ton of pages in each signature, but that was by design because I, I want to decorate. And boy, embellishments do add a lot of thickness. They just, it's just how, it's just the nature of the beast. So let's do this. Um, that where so those edges so that marking on the edge is where it needs to be and we're gonna go hole hole and hole how are we doing time wise guys oh we've got a few could maybe do one more I am just getting all sorts of inky from this pen I've had it for a while. I guess I need to replace my place my pen. Maybe I'll find some more of those when I clean out my drawers when I'm moving. Oh my gosh, the moving. Oh, I'm excited and yet I was online last night looking at storage containers and um, shelving and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, I, I don't even know. I want to use what I have first. But what I have is all makeshift, which is fine. But sometimes it's not the most efficient way to store things. So 
I don't know, I might invest in like a, a bookshelf unit or something, you know, I don't know. But I was looking. Always fun to shop. <laughs> but, oh, right side up, yes, yes, okay. Good, good. We have to go to the store after lunch. And then I'm gonna have my husband help me move. Um, I have a small TV that I'm gonna put in my craft room so that I can still so I can still watch the voice and the things my husband doesn't like to watch, so I can still watch those while I'm crafting if I want to in the new setup. Yeah, so my husband got to watch TV last night for the first time up on the bigger TV. We haven't got the cable working, however. It's, um, you know, sometimes it's a bit of a process with the cable box. Oops. left myself not enough thread I guess okay so that that okay on this side pull her tight tie it tight and we'll do a bow and second signature in Oh, I'm excited. I'm getting to the decorating part. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay, first signature. We don't need that in there. That's just going to get in our way. So, you are in a good spot. We moved my husband's computer into the dining room, which is right above my head here. And so you're gonna hear him scoot in his chair now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, but Jimmy Joe's gonna be happy. And I can tell you if Jimmy Joe ain't happy, ain't nobody happy in this household. <laughs> oh, he's something else, that one. So stinking cute. Okay, my husband has decided that he thinks he has grown um, again, you know, he's like twice as tall as he was when we got him. Yeah, he's grown like weed. But, so we're hoping to go out of town day after tomorrow but we are supposed to get like a major snowstorm so we are just playing it by ear at this point and we'll just see okay do i have time to sew in nope okay well i'll sew the last one in on my own but thank you everybody so much for crafting with me today i think we're making some progress on our little vintage book. So thanks again, and we will just see it in the next video. Have a grateful day, everyone. Bye-bye.